Your Excellency, the President. My dear brother, please. I beg of you. My health is not well. I'm not well. Please find it in your heart to forgive me. Let me not die because of politics. I'm prepared to work with you. I sincerely apologize for all the bad things I've done to you and the people of Zambia. Please, my dear brother. Please, my dear brother. I'm not well. I'm not well. I am overstressed and my BP and sugar not coming down. Please, my brother, find it in your heart to forgive me. Please, La Papata. I'm not well, please. We've come across a report where they are saying they should make sure that I am eliminated from the political scene because I'm too popular. I can easily beat HH in 2026. So they are saying they are going to do two things. One, give me as many trumped up charges so that they can confine me in prison and probably poison me while in detention. Or they have also planned that they should do uh, plan a, a, a road traffic accident against me by planting certain people to temper with my vehicle or just set up some vehicle to kill me and then claim that it was in a, an RTA. They've also done closing all my businesses by threatening all the people that we do business with so that I don't have money. This has adversely affected our survival and sponsorship of the children to school. Right now, I'm not doing anything because our biggest contract, which was mining, I have been in the mining contract business since 1993. They've terminated the contract with Mopani because Mopani is now a parastato and does its same investment holding, which is a government uh, a, a company. So they want to kill me or eliminate me by making sure that I'm broke and uh, you know I uh, have no money to uh, man, uh, to maneuver or to do my campaign. So my life is at stake, and this I need uh, to be assisted. Upon the officer's insistence that the holder be brought to the counter for clearance as per procedure, the unknown Zimbabwean freed leaving Mr. Kambwiri, Cheshimba Kambwiri's passport behind. Information later obtained by ourselves revealed that Honorable Kambwiri had crossed into Zimbabwe leaving his passport behind and without following the requisite procedure of exiting the country. It must be placed on record that by crossing into Zimbabwe in the manner he did, Mr. Chishimba Kambwiri contravened Section 16.1 of the Immigration and Deportation Act number 18 of 2010. We would not evacuate him to, to UK because as government we do not have um, direct uh, um, arrangements with any hospital where he should be taken there. And so we told him at that, we told at that stage that it could only be India or South Africa. And then later I did myself again uh, inform his wife to the effect that the place where we're going to send him to was UK, I mean was South Africa. Because by that time, by the 15th of January, we had already gotten responses from both India and South Africa. And we opted for South Africa because it was nearer and it was going to be easier for us.